I'm homesick and I take, I, I turn on the television and I'm flipping through and you know, back then, you know, the fun of being sick was getting to watch TV. And I come on to this program and there's, the, there's a man and a woman um, and I'd later find out who they were and they were talking. Oh, who were they? David and his wife. Norma G. Yeah, and then I was watching this and I thought it was so interesting and then they were talking and um, they were talking directly into the camera and I thought it was so warm and so inviting. And then they had a couple of people performing as well. But then it was interesting, they talked about a prayer line. And I thought, you know, it was the coolest thing to kind of see this program on live and to connect Christianity with a, like a larger people out mm -hmm. there. So I called the prayer line. I thought, oh, you know, I, I wonder if someone will actually answer. How old, how old were you then? Maybe about 13. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Will someone answer the phone from a, a kid? And they picked up and I remember it was this, this elderly lady. Uh, I don't remember her name. And she talked with me for what seemed like forever. And she took such an interest in me. I thought I was talking with my own grandmother. For the first time really, that it was, I talked with someone and they talked with me like an adult and not like a kid. And they talked with me like I, I individually mattered. And it's different when you're in a large group setting and people may treat you like, you know, you matter, but it was that person was intentional about finding out about me.